Hello and welcome back to Microsoft Build. I'm Seth Juarez and I'm pleased to be joined by Mark Rusinovich, Azure Chief Technical Officer. They still let you do that around here? Yeah, pretty much. Fantastic. Yeah. So, what are you most excited about? Microsoft Build, announcements, yeah. containers. Yeah, cont uh, Azure Container Apps with Dapper GA. That is correct. You were excited about the confidential ones. Yeah. Yes, confidential That's what was yesterday. That was yesterday. Yeah. So for those that maybe didn't watch Ignite last time and introduced Azure Container Apps with Dapper, why don't we start with the Container yeah. Apps? Well, Tell us about those. Sure. Container Apps is a serverless application platform that lets you deploy applications that consist of microservices. And it's got capabilities built into it to let you track upgrades, to do A-B testing, to do network isolation. Uh, it really makes it really painless to create an application without having to learn a lot of infrastructure and orchestration. I, here's the thing. I had to do a container thing with orchestration. I think it was Kubeflow or something, yeah. machine learning. It was actually really quite hard. So I, I know that we have Azure Container Apps, but me throwing up an app and having to throw up another one how do you get the distributed programming problem to go away, which is yeah. still a problem? Well, so built into it is something called Dapper, which loosely represents distributed application runtime. It is a managed part of container apps, meaning you don't need to deploy it yourself or upgrade it yourself. And it provides what, what we call a set of building blocks, where building blocks take care of certain kinds of problems that you would have to deal with writing a, a cloud native application. For example, some of the building blocks include secret management, so that it'll manage your secrets for you and give them to you when you need them. It's a pub sub for uh, doing inter-process communication, a state store for saving data, a service to service communication, configuration management, and the list goes on and on. I, so that's fantastic, and I, I'm hearing you, but when I'm writing a container, you know, let's just yeah. say I did a Python thing, right, and, and a Flask something, How, where is Dapper living? Do I have to like write Dapper into my Code, yeah. or how does that work? So Dapper is available as a sidecar, which exposes an HTTP or gRPC endpoint to your application. So you can just call into it directly. So any language, any framework can leverage the sidecar without having to use an SDK. Now, Dapper does have SDKs to make it easier to, to use from certain languages, but you don't need it. And just to give you an example of how powerful it means, for PubSub, for example, where you want to do uh, inter-process communication and uh, your app does, you don't want to learn the SDK for event hubs, for example. Right. You just use Dapper's pub sub building block. You plug in the component at runtime for event hubs. You could also plug in Service Bus or RabbitMQ or Kafka right. without changing any of your code, and it'll leverage that as the pub sub system. And it'll do the authentication for you. It'll do retries for you. So it, it's like your butler, like your dapper butler. Interesting. So literally, uh, that's why there's that's yeah, why it has that right. hat. That's right. So it's like literally, you're in your code, and you're like, hey, can you can you go tell the other service to take care of something for me, and it will just do it. That's right. So I feel like I need to look at how this works. Do you have, did you bring a demo? Yeah, I've got a little demo to show you. All right, let's take a look at that. All right, so here we have an application that consists of two microservices. It's a checkout microservice that gets orders and sends them to an order processor that does whatever with them and stores them in a Dapper state store. It's fully Dapperized, meaning the checkout microservice can call directly into the other one using Dapper. And here we deploy it. All it takes is three lines to enable Dapper there for the application. As an AZ command, looks With like. the uh, Azure command line. And then you can see I've got it running here. You can see the order processors printing out orders as they come in. For every one, you, you can see there it's the sidecar there, the Dapper sidecar there along with the microservice. Now for every one of these, the like I said, the front end, the order, the checkouts sending to the order back end, you can see that visualized here because Dapper is instrumented and you can plug in any kind of telemetry system here, including Azure App Insights, to get this instant dash view dash without the developer having to write any code. You can see the latency between the front and the back end. You can see all the calls to the state store as well. And you get that for free, plus you get secure service-to-service uh, -service communication using TLS. And then finally, you can network isolate the app, like I've done here. So it has no public IP address, or we can move it and have a public IP address. So you get kind of best practices security capabilities built into it easily as well. That's really cool. And that's because if you use Dapper, with Azure Container Apps, you get all of this 
additional goodness on top of it. Like, like seeing the things going between yeah. each other, and that's what I mean, you get. You can get that on your own if you instrument your code, but here Dapper just did all that for you. You didn't need to, to worry about it. And I think that's one of the challenges that I had when I was doing, started doing container stuff, is I couldn't see inside. I couldn't see how these things were talking to each other, and this makes it all a lot, a lot easier. Exactly. Just, it's, it's really kind of just lets you focus on your business logic. You can implement things like a function style app, and you can actually think of this as functions for general applications, general cloud native applications. I see, but you own the container, you own the container. basically. So I know it's, uh, what's the announcement for today at Build? At Microsoft built. The announcement is that we're GAing container apps plus Dapper. It also has Kata and event driven autoscaler in, included in Envoy too for doing A B testing on top of it. All of that is going GA today. Fantastic. And are, are people like what's the experience been for people using this? So people love it because it's let's like I said, lets you focus on your business logic. It really represents the future of cloud native development where you don't have to learn about orchestrators and infrastructure, you just focus on the business logic. Fantastic. So where can people go to find out more if they want to learn about this? So that URL there, aka.ms slash ACA dash dapper. Well, I'm excited to learn it and maybe not spend way too much time <laughs> figuring out the whole infrastructure stuff. I love the idea of it being like a serverless thing. All right. Make sure you go to that link for sure. All right. That's Mark. I'm Seth. And that's Container Apps and Dapper. That's all from us. Enjoy the rest of Microsoft Build 2022.